This is Correctional Officers in the News with your host, Larone Coons. Hello, this is Correctional Officers in the News. This video is focusing on Massachusetts, where officers are lobbying for higher pay. They have a very good argument. In Massachusetts, you have your state correction department, and then you have departments in the individual counties in Massachusetts. Well, officers from the State Department of Correction make more than the officers that work in the counties. And there is no standardized pay scale for the officers. So an officer in one county might make $10,000 more than an officer in the next county, and they all might make $5,000 less than the state officers. So they're saying that we want all the officers to be on the same pay scale and all the officers to make the same amount of money and we want to match the state salary. The state correction officers make more than any of the county officers and their argument is that we all do the same job and we work with the same inmates. And the state pays the correction officers in each county. When the state took over and started paying for each county's correction department, they just went with the pay scales that were already in place, which were all over the place, and they never standardized the pay for all the correction officers throughout the state. So in Worcester County, the starting salary there is between 44000 and 66000 whereas in Middlesex County, the starting pay is 54000 to 74000 And then for a State Department of Correction officer, his starting salary is 56000 to 775000 So you see the discrepancy there. Part of the argument that the officers in Massachusetts are making is that if a court officer works for any county, he makes the same salary. Why shouldn't it be any different for correction? And that's a solid argument and it should prevail. This is just an example that we see over and over again where correction is treated sort of like second class when it comes to law enforcement. If they stick together this will change because there's no rationale for them to have this type of pay scale for officers that are doing the same job. It's a matter of fairness. Equal pay for equal work. They have a good argument. They have legislators in Massachusetts that are supporting this effort, that are sponsoring this bill. You know it's going to be a fight because you're talking about more money, of course. And from what the article says, which I will provide a link to so you can read the whole article, it says that if this bill is passed and if the salaries are standardized that it will be an additional hundred a hundred million dollars per year for the state of Massachusetts which I think is worth it alright all officers should be making the same amount of money this has very large ramifications because if officers can come together all over the state of Massachusetts that's political power alright and if they can stay organized like that they can demand other things that um, correction officers want or need. And I hope that the officers get this raise increase, the standardized salary increase that they are seeking. So with that, until the next time, this is Correction Officers in the News. Peace and stay safe. This is COTV, bringing you the latest in correctional news. Subscribe now and click the notification bell to stay updated with the world of corrections. This is Correctional Officers in the News with your host, Larone Koontz.